is Ozarks Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozarks Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in today. The show is flying by. It is. It's already the second hour. Oh, my goodness. We've had a lot of great music today. Uh. Doesn't Liz have a great voice? I love her. I do too. She's fantastic. And I hope more people sign up for her hospital program. Yes, uh, that Musicians on Call is the name yes. of it, and it's musiciansoncall.com. If you're interested, because I know we have a lot of mu musicians out there to go and and play to people at the hospital on the different floors. That is a great thing that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's only like one hour a week. I mean, I'm oh, sorry, a month. A month, one, yeah. One hour a month. And so who couldn't do that? And, and she said she gets a lot of uh, feedback and blessing yeah. from that, and I think anyone would. Of course. I mean, how could yeah. you not? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, when you give, you get tenfold in return. Absolutely. That's what I think anyway. I think so, too. So uh, if you get a chance to do that, go online and register to go help out with that. You know, Jeremy, I was telling you that our dog uh, got neutered yesterday, oh, yeah. Blue. Mm -hmm. I feel so sorry for him. He's Why? just... He's in the cage with oh. his little his little helmet hat cone on, and I feel he's so out of his element. He's usually just jumping all around crazy, and he looks very sad out of his eyes, you know? And he's got to be like that for seven days. I don't know. I mean, seriously. What about when you let him out to go potty? Well, he tries to knock it um, off on the yeah. trees and on the yard and that sort of thing, but he has to keep it on. I understand there are some cones that are uh, softer. Oh, that yes. I might go to the uh, to the store and see if I can find. I just feel, I feel like I'm torturing him. No, but you're the human. You know best. I know. I know he doesn't understand it, uh -huh. but in the long run, and I always know that my dogs, after they get fixed, they're in a little bit of pain for a while, too. Well, Does he have pain pills? Well, not yet. We're going to okay. get some today, but they gave him a shot that's supposed to loss, uh, last 24 hours, so that he'll be good till you know, for a while. Yes. You know who knows nothing about neutering a pet? Because <laughs> she's never had one? Yes. It's Elisa Rafa. Mm -hmm. At least I don't mean to throw you into the bus, but there was no, no better segue. You're right. I have no idea. We didn't have to neuter the baiter fish that we had, so I know nothing. Um, we've got dry conditions out there this morning. Lots of sunny skies. Any storms from the overnight have exited to the east. Temperatures are about 15 degrees warmer than they were yesterday, starting out in the 60s, even 70 degrees already in Springfield. It's 66 in Monette and 68 in Branson. Dry roads through the day today. We'll have a spotty shower or a storm possible, but it won't uh, damper any of the roads out there. 84. By dismissal. A spotty shower or storm is possible, but for the most part, uh, we'll stay dry. Cardinals play game at 1110 this morning, 76 degrees for that first pitch, 82 through the seventh inning with sunshine. It's going to be beautiful at Hammonds Field. With the storm chance today, we could pop one or two strong or severe storms to the south and east, mainly with a threat of quarter size hail or 60 mile per hour winds. You can see the storms right here, pretty minimal. Not a lot popping on future chaos. Temperatures warm in the low to middle 80s. 60s overnight tonight with a storm possible. Oh, and then by tomorrow, dry, warm sunshine, 86 degrees. It's going to be very warm and sticky. Uh, we'll have spotty showers today, so just be careful if you're going to mow the lawn. We'll be dry tomorrow and Friday. So on the mower, no, uh, yes, for Thursday and Friday. Saturday, I think you'll have the whole afternoon to mow the lawn, but by the evening and overnight, we'll have showers and storms arrive on our next strong cold front. That will likely bring us severe weather, so we have to keep an eye out on that. And then we're keeping storm chances through Tuesday of next week as the pattern gets it's pretty stormy and unsettled. But, I mean, look at these temperatures in the middle and upper 80s through the rest of the work week. So a pretty warm stretch starting today. Jeremy Kelly? We like warm. It looks good, Elisa. <laughs> I'll take it. Even though there's rain, I see lots of rain chances there. Mm -hmm. The temperatures, though, oh my, it's better than freezing rain. Oh, my goodness. That's my <laughs> least favorite element. Yeah. Yes. It's, we've been a couple of months removed from that, but that is pain. I hate... I'm so ha Actually... You know, in April, I didn't want to do it because I was like, ooh, April, it's still possible. If I do it now, I'm going to jinx myself. But I took the ice scraper and put it from the front of the car to the back <laughs> of the car. So that was really out there, Lisa. What? You were tempting fate right yes, there. Yes, right there. I know. I was like, ooh, because you know the day that I do that, it'll snow. Absolutely. I, I'm still, I know this is terrible. It's May uh, 15th. Mm -hmm. I'm still worried about snow. <laughs> well. We're going to get a freak snowstorm, Lisa. I just have a feeling. <laughs> She's okay. like, bring it on. <laughs> It actually kind of would be fun. See, I, knew I know. That. That's I knew right. that. Okay. Thank you, Elisa. Coming up, it's my pin of the week. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right here. Right here. Right here. Elisa, yes. has it ever snowed this late in Missouri, do you think? Um, I don't think so. This is probably pushing it now. In West